Hey guys, I'm approaching slowly just in case she shows me any signs that she's going to get up. I'm not wanting to scare her, but pretty excited that she's letting me come and pet her while she's laying down. She used to be so spicy and now she's getting so just comfortable and confident. She's doing such a great job in her training and look at her here, so brave. Not the same kicky donkey that she was to all the other donkeys. She used to kick them just constantly, and now she's just calm and confident. I love the changes that we're seeing. Today, we're going to be working with a bunch of donkeys, so stay tuned. We're going to be doing everything from accepting touch to picking up feet. The 22-year-old is getting so calm and comfortable in his surrounding that he's starting to play. I love seeing this. I just think it's so exciting that he's that calm and confident here that he's playing. He's also uh, allowing us to put a halter on. We're target training cool. his legs. He's I doing great. Here with my phone. And the 17 year old, curious. Hey guys, we're here with Abby and I'm just working on her being comfortable with me touching her legs and petting them. Five, four, three, two, one, deep. So when she does that and she doesn't move her feet, then she gets pay. I'll let her to that for a second. Hi girl. Where are you going? Where are you going? Okay, are you ready? The next one that we're gonna do is I'm gonna hold my hand there and ask for her foot. Foot, feet. Now when she does that, she gets pay. I'm not asking her to let me hold it, but she's got to stand still. And this is just us progressing through her, through her training. I spent a couple days just being kind of bent over near her because that made her back up. She got pretty nervous. She got pretty nervous, didn't you? You've been making lots of funny faces. Licking your lips really funny. Are you gonna do it for the camera? Hmm? A lot of whiskers. Remember those whiskers are kind of like fingers. They'll blow out with their nose and their whiskers move and then they can feel lots of things. So this is Abby. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys. All right guys, I just started with 2683 and what I'm, he's eating from my hand real nice now, but what I'm watching for, watch him flinch if I pretend like I'm gonna pet him. Oh. Okay, so <laughs> I was just doing this and he was flinching. So when he flinched, I would just back away. So now that he is curious, we can just do a countdown where we can do it. One of two ways is what I'm going to do is either just one pet and then pay. I should switch my oat pouch side. Okay, so we can do it one of two ways. I can either just, I want him to wor learn the word DEET so I can just come up and pet him and say DEET and then give him pay. So that's one way to do it. And while they're eating, if they have a big mouthful and you um, go to pet them, if they stop chewing while you're petting them, that means that they're nervous. So the other way to do it is the countdown. So we can go five, four, three, two, one, deep. You see how he's curious the whole time there? He wasn't leaning away, he was actually leaning towards me. So this is the progress that, that we're making with 2683. We'll be announcing names soon. I have a lot of cool uh, name ideas that people have sent in. So now we just have to choose one. You ready? Five, four, three, two, one, deep. Okay, I'm gonna give him a really big mouthful. And then we're gonna watch to see he's chewing and he's still chewing. Now, if he stops chewing, just stop petting him and take a step back or stop petting him. You can see he's not too nervous about that. And if he's taking steps and we're in here just hanging out, I'm just gonna match steps with him. I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm not gonna ask him to stand still. Isn't he cute? Okay, so we're gonna do this again. Five, four, three, two, one, deep. You can see he's not showing any signs of being nervous when I do that. When I feed him the oats, there's often some left in my hand afterwards. And then once they're really comfortable in one spot, you can go somewhere else. Do you see him flinch? Five, four, three, two, one, deep. 
You see how he's still leaning his head towards me? So we're just gonna keep repeating this lots and lots to help him get nice and comfortable. All right, so I have four in separate pens and these two are just in waiting. You see how they're just playing. So these are two Galdeans, one's three, and the other one's, I can't remember for sure, 12 or even more. And those, those guys play pretty rough, but they're having fun, they are playing. So that's Blackjack and Romeo playing together. <laughs> they go down on their knees, totally playing. That's Joker, he's in waiting. And there we have the old man, the 22 year old. And here we have the two girls, Juliet and Abby. And these guys have already been worked with. Oh, look at there, Abby's getting a little spicy. She's saying, move out of my space or I'm gonna kick you. I haven't seen her do that for a while, but we just put Juliet in here where she's now living with these guys on this side because her foot, she needs to have, be, she needs to be trimmed. So I'm working on getting her ready for that. Okay, now we're gonna do something different here. We're gonna go to a side, but he's been, you see how he's moving? That's a sign. I'm just gonna match steps with them. All right, let's see. There, did you see him flinch? So I can just back, I can just take a step back and say, oh, I see you're a little nervous about that. Hi. So we're watching for even those little flinches. Ready? Deep. So now that he didn't flinch and he accepted it, we can go ahead and pay for that. Remember, the, what they get paid for is always gonna be increasing. So at first it's for a touch, but later on it's gonna be for a countdown of five seconds and then more and more. You see how curious he is. He knows I have oats and he likes them. Okay, now I just switched to his right side and you see how he's kind of leaning away from me? Now, just like we have a dominant hand or a dominant side, dominant eye, all of that stuff, they also have a dominant side. Now, quite often it's the left, but it's not always the left. So not only do we do a lot of stuff from their left, that plays a role in them just wanting us to be on one side but so does them having a dominant side. So I'm just gonna wait. See how now he's starting to turn his head towards me a little bit, a little bit more. Now he's inviting me. You ready? And we're gonna watch for any flinching. Deep, no flinching. Now before I had to stand in front of him because he wouldn't eat and he might be a little bit slower on this side. That's okay. We're just working on him getting really comfortable. So I'm gonna do all the same stuff on this side, working on petting him. Did you see him flinch there? See him flinch? So when he flinches, I can just move away or at least at for sure don't keep approaching. Recognize that. Flinching, but we can still pay even though he flinched. Now, if he won't take the oats, that could mean that he's really worked up. You see how tight his mouth is? So I can just hold it here and wait for him. He's starting to think about it. We like it when they start to get conflicted. There he comes. So be patient and wait, guys. It'll happen. All right, so here we got 2732, and he's just cracking me up. We're doing target training, and he's becoming so playful. Foot. <laughs> Foot. Deep. All right. Okay, we're going to do this again. He's just cracking me up. Investigating everything. He's been pawing at it. Foot. Deep. 
That's what I was trying to show you guys, how he's pawing at it. Here you go, buddy. He takes it so gently. Foot. My camera doesn't know where to focus with all of his moving around. Deep. Here you go, buddy. So he is doing a good job. He's coming along nicely. And while he's over here being having his training time, we got Mr. Jealousy right here hanging out. And very curious and he wants more training. All right. I thought maybe I could work on target training with him, but he's just a little too nervous. So we're just gonna work on some simpler stuff. He's taking a step back. So sometimes he does eat oats out of my hand, but sometimes he's just really gotta take some time to investigate it. And that's okay. But do you see how he's just kind of nervous there? I'm just gonna hang out with him. And his nervousness, he wasn't nervous before, but when Paul put the halter on too soon, it has created nervousness. And now when that kind of thing happens, when something goes wrong, and then you gotta work on uh, gaining back that confidence, you're just gonna have to take the time that it needs, it will happen. Take the time that it needs and, and let it happen. Look at that sunset behind us. Wow, is that gorgeous. Just a gorgeous sunset. There he's taking it faster than last time. So when I was trying to do the target training, he just wasn't showing curiosity. He has too many nerves to be curious for the target training. So we're gonna work our way and build back up into that. Right now he's still chewing. So they often do that. They'll put their nose, um, right below whatever you have in your hand and they're just smelling it. So they're trying to decide if they think they want to eat it or not. Now he's never showed any sign of aggression. So I'm not worried about, you know, being really close to him because he's not showing any of those signs. Look at, what do I have? And sometimes if, if they won't take it, maybe you just need to fill up your hand even more. You see how he's smelling it before he decides to eat it? Look at the scar on the side of his face. He's an older gelding who is now a jack. Or I mean, pardon me, he's an older gelding who was a jack in the wild. So I got a feeling that that cut on his mouth, it came from something that happened in the wild. There's another story if we could only know it. I'm just gonna step away from him now. Let's see, look at how he turns to me, that's curiosity. Being that he doesn't want to eat the oats. I'll just let him have a second. Oh, look at. Are you going to come over to me now? I'm going to take another step away. I have a feeling he's going to follow me. Here he comes. So there's some curiosity. And that's what we're always looking for is that curiosity. See, so he's licking and chewing. That's the parasympathetic nervous system where he's getting some feel good endorphins going through there, going through him. And I'm just gonna let him be curious and investigate me. I don't need to force anything because he's gonna help it come along. This is Romeo. Let's see if he'll take the oats from my hand this time. See how he's smelling them? He says, I don't know about that. Sorry guys, I'm holding my hand, my phone in one hand. 
So it's kind of crooked. It's because he's kind of short. And he's just thinking there. And sometimes donkeys really need a lot of time to think. I'm gonna back in alongside of them. Backing in alongside of them can take away a lot of that uh, stress. Let's see if he'll eat from my hand now. See that cut, the old cut, it's an old cut, it's all healed. But that's how he came to us. And he doesn't want the oats. Now normally he eats oats. So let's see about petting him. No flinching. So I'm just gonna pet him and then I'm gonna step away. So with him, a good thing to do is gonna be to really pay attention to any flinching, any movement of the head, leaning away and then stepping away when he does that. So I'm gonna come into him closer and you see how he did not move. So now I'm just gonna pet him and I'm gonna give him a little release and you see how he's looking at me, getting curious. I'm gonna pet him some more. And I'm gonna step away. And we're gonna keep just trying to create that curiosity with him. We'll see if he'll eat oats this time. He ate a little bit, a little bit. We're just gonna keep working on that, guys. That's Romeo number 3512. All right, guys, I'm working on the last one, and this is Joker and I'm working on his feet. He's just so chill about everything. Foot deep. Now he does not take grain, so he gets hay. This is the second day that I've worked on his feet with him. Sorry for the poor video quality here with it being so dark out, but this is my last one. And I'm just doing 10 minutes with him. I did 11 minutes yesterday. And I'll have worked with nine animals today plus my normal full-time job. So it's just like, wow, amazing. I'll do it one more time for you. Again, this is Joker. Ready? Foot. Deep. Okay, so normally I do all the target training. So normally I do all the target training. But because these guys need to be trimmed yesterday... Uh, I'm just starting to pick it up and set it down over and over and over again. So target training is one way and I do love that way. But with these guys, the ones that are super calm and confident, and he's totally one of them, I'm just going to go ahead with uh, picking up their feet over and over and then setting them down. Lots of repetition. I've only done the fronts with this. I have asked him to pick up his back feet, but I've not tried to hold his back feet yet. So lots of repetition. Thanks for watching, guys. You guys have an awesome night. Please hit that like and subscribe button.